<laughs> Oi! It's finally time. What's it time for? Ripsaw. Ripsaw! Ah, yeah. Woo! Dennis needs a ripsaw on this thing, so we're going to do yep. it today. Where is it? There it is. All right. I'm Brad, back. Brad showed up now, too, so now we're really going to get after it. All right. So uh, it is... 119, we'll tell you how long this takes. This is about as complicated as it gets for a track swap because uh, we've got the four drive wheels and reverse. So we actually have to pull the chain case all the way off. Yep, everything comes out. Oh, hi, Farley. So uh, there you go. And there's four of us. And we're going to take a pizza break in the middle. We might subtract the pizza break from the time, though. No. Oh, and, come on. <laughs> and we're not working very hard. This is so. a union. <laughs> it is a union job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not going to work at this very hard, as you can already tell, but I think we'll still have it all done by, I don't know, in a little bit. We'll be done soon. See ya. All right, check in. 127. It's been eight minutes, and I went in the house to start the pizza. Skid's out. And these guys are tearing into under the hood like an Indy car pit crew. Pipes out. Brad's got the pipe out. Dennis is about to start taking off the flanges on the drive shaft. We're clipping right along. I want to show you one of my favorite things about an extra 12. They got these rubber plugs you pull out right there. And then you get a socket into the bolt way in there and drop the front of the skid. Right. I kind of like extra 12s. Okay. These guys are deep into this last bolt. This is the one that gives everybody the problems. This is why I got this particular device for Christmas. And uh, the hard part is usually Getting the toe well, just being able to see the damn bolt. There it is. All right. So we'll get this thing in here. You're up. There we go. She's so uh, extended reach uh, quarter inch electric ratchet. Or half an hour of busting your knuckles in there <laughs> for nothing. About, yeah. All right, check in time. Pizza's done, it's 156. So we're slacking, we don't have this thing apart yet. Um, we got the, uh, we're all poking at the reverse chain case right now. It's uh, kind of gross in there. So, uh, anyways, we'll get that all cleaned up and uh, keep going after the pizza break. There we go, and time, 210, 210, but that includes pizza break and various other breaks, <laughs> but the track is Look at out. that ugly thing. There's uh, not right a lot of, next to that other one. there's not a lot of tread. Drop, yeah, drop her on the floor next to it, Lonnie. Can we put that one up backwards? Yeah. What a help. OMG. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gonna, makes a big difference. Gonna I say, I nice yeah. Woohoo! Yep. All right. Now, now if we can get back in there. Now for the rest of the struggle. <laughs> the short yeah. bus has arrived. All right. So new issue is I hit 130 miles per hour and the speedo shaft broke. 130. Sure. Yeah, that's the story. I'm sticking to it. Anyways, these either come out or they don't. Dental pick, wood screw, what have you. Oh, 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 it moved. It's going to come out. Suck it up. Nah, a little tight for that. Your fingertips. There we go. So, uh, there we go. Winning. You get these from Manufacturing Supply. So uh, they're about a buck, so we're going to throw a new one in. I like the idea. No more speeding tickets. <laughs> Time check. It's 312. We're not setting any records today. Not these set. Nope. <laughs> but uh, and a few setbacks. We got the chain case together. There's the there's the good old chain case again. If you haven't seen it in a bunch of our videos already, what are you guys doing? Reach around. You doing the reach around for the bolts? I think we lost a nut. 
giving her the reach around on the bottom. Yeah, down we, there? Got, we got. Well, you got them started. Nuts. We just missing the third missing nut. nut. All right. So progress is being made. We'll be chunking that skid back in there pretty quick. So apparently the last uh, last time this chain case got put a uh, chain case cover got put on uh, someone didn't have that aligned quite right. So uh, I think uh, I think we, that might actually cause a leak. I think we found the leak. Yeah. Let's see if I got a new gasket somewhere. Yeah. Time check, 3.57. So we've been at this three hours. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we're we're yeah. like amateur hour clown but show on this project today to be three hours into a track swap. All right, we're going to get the skid in now. Hopefully that doesn't take us an hour. All right, track's tension. World record? 4.31. Not a world record, but we're done. We're going to check the alignment and take her for a rip. Did you just kill it? Nope, it died. Oh, she's so pig rich today, yep. Dennis. All right, we're gonna call the track swap done. Track swap done. Rest of the sled, keep going. And drop the needles. It is, oh. we, here we are fixing that bog slash stall you saw on Dennis's sled. Bog. Here's what happened. We checked, it had spark, it had great spark. Plugs were bone dry. Took a squirt bottle, shot them down the cylinders, fired up. Died when the fuel ran out. Gave it a full choke, started up and ran. So we got a restriction in the fuel system somewhere. So uh, we're going after that right now. Here's what we found. There's no weight on the end of Dennis's pickup. We think the hose is floating up. I bet it's floating around in there. Good luck. That'll so be hard like to the find. First, well, so like... The last ride, the first half of the day, you had a full tank. Yeah, so right? it was fine. Yep, until it got to the point where that hose floated up to the top, and sucked Starts a little air. air. Yep. All right, I gotta find or make a uh, some kind of a weight for this pickup. All right. So uh, we found the uh, the weight and the filter at the bottom of the tank. So I'm gonna go in here with the brass magnet and see if I can. Uh, See if I can get a hold of that. Brass ass? The brass ass. See if I can get a little hold of that. This is like playing the claw game for a, for a teddy bear at the bar. Yeah, it's, it's not yeah. really a magnet. It's more of a claw. Come on. Oh, Come oh, on. Oh, I, oh, nope, I got up. it. I got it. I got it. I got it. The brass magnet worked again? It did. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. And then you got to bring it up through the hole like ice fishing. You can't touch the sides. It's operation. No, nope, I'm not going to bring it up through the side. Can I grab it with the needle nose? Uh, yep, sure can. All right, hold this, Dennis. See it right there? Oh, no, I can't see it. Your hand's in the way. Well, that was the screen anyway. Well, then we took the screen uh, off. Yep. Well. So there you go. I ripped the screen off because so, I freaking manhandled and that's it. That's what was left of the weight. Um, Not good. <laughs> is there? There's no hose on there. No. The hose. little the little clamp is on there. The clamp is there. The little thing, but. Uh, what the hell caused that to fall apart? Bouncing around in the tank. Jeez. All right. Well, we're gonna go with that other pickup I found. And oh, it'll I think be fine. We found a problem. Yeah, we found the problem. You think? You think that'll make it bog? Yes. 
I think so too. <laughs> gas, gas, air, 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 gas, gas. Oh. So uh, just like in the Great Ape, here's those compression fittings: seven oh eight, oh four, oh two, and uh, you know we saw evidence there was one on that what was left of a pickup on Dennis's sled that we pulled out, but uh, we're sure we're going to have them again this time. All right, so there's the pickup in. Pretty sure I actually made this on my lathe a long time ago. It's not the ideal pickup. It doesn't have the screen. There's the other end. But uh, this is the pickup we have today. So this is the pickup that's going in. All right, it's been a long day in the shop. What did we accomplish? New track. The track's in. Woo! We got a track in. Woo rips off. It's the corner rips off. It took a while, but hey, we're just enjoying our time in the shop, hanging out with the guys, eating pizza, drink, with the dogs. drinking beer, playing with the dogs. It's all good. We don't care. We weren't trying to set any speed records today. It's the way it is. Second hit. What the hell was that bogginess? We keep chasing this gremlin on Dennis's sled and one of the gremlins is that his needles and seats even though we've replaced them keep sticking well look at that look at all that dirt in there still chasing gremlins I think you can see that uh, it's all on the uh, tank side of the filter it doesn't look like anything got through so Dennis is pretty sure well we're all pretty sure his last filter must have been defective and letting the dirt through so we're taking the pump apart and clean that out and we're replacing all the lines uh everything everywhere and uh, then we're going to be sure we have a clean fuel system and a new filter okay. and dennis is pulling the tank off and we're going to get that clean we're tired of it we're going to do what we have to to fix it why take the chance here we are chasing demons out of Dennis's sled. Show them the demon chase dance with the seat, Dennis. Okay, cool. Give it her shake. Get the end in the. Oh, <laughs> try to get the end in the in the thing. Shake it around. This is actually the second round. In round one, we got like unbelievable amounts of junk out of there, and some water. So. Uh, we're doing nothing but good with this today. You can see there's the remnants of the round one junk. Looks like we've got some uh, still pouring out. Yep, still pouring out. We got a little bit of round two junk, but nothing like was in there. Give her a shake, shake, shake. Tilt her straight up and down. You're kind of a little in the angle. Yep. There you go. All right. Looks like round two is. Not great. There'll be a round three, but then we're done. We got most of it. The filter will get the rest. Dr. Lonnie is reassembling Dennis's carbs right now. They are spotless, impeccably clean. Impeccably. And uh, while Lonnie's doing that, I'm going to rip this fuel pump apart and make sure that's spotless inside, too. All right. Good thing uh, we checked. I don't know if you can see that, but there is, without a doubt, dirt in the fuel pump. So the filter Dennis had before this one never caught anything. We think it was a defective filter. This one is obviously working. Not that we're going to reuse it. We'll do a fresh one, but uh, I'm going to get the dirt out of here right now. 
All right, Gremlins going back together, putting the seat back on after the uh, after Dennis did the the little dance with the seat to get the Gremlin out of that. We got the carbs synced up. Things are going great. Great. We got our fingers crossed that maybe we'll get two good hits in a row out of the sled. Oh come on! And that would be and that would be a record for this weekend. Uh, yo. Quick update: showing you our fuel system with all new uh, filter, all new lines. Lonnie, give it about a quarter of a pull. What? Well, there you go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this thing behaves better for us now. No we got gremlins. we got like four bolts to put in, and then we're gonna take it for a rip around the yard in the snow because it's snowing now. Yay! We spent the afternoon chasing gremlins. Let's see if we can at least get a couple good hits out of it. It's getting dark out, but let's see what it does. Don't pull the hook up. That was a vast improvement. Now let's see what happens on the second lap. Hell yeah. Two in a row. Can we do more? Get her again! Idle down. Yeah. Give him another one! Give him another one! Yeah, there's just no riding wheelies with the snow like it is today. You know, it's raining right now. Well, lightly snow, rain mix. Things a lot, but that XLT is sure a lot better. And it starts right back up. All right, we're closing out the video on day two of the track swap. A little more than an hour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we started out doing a track swap and then we thought we'd be smart and show you how well the track hooked up and how good the sled was running and all that and well we did show you but it wasn't that good and then uh, the sled fought us and uh, fought us fought us some more the sled by the way Dennis's sled's got a name we think it always had a name the gremlin. The gremlin. The gremlin. We think the sled's full of gremlins. We think yeah. we got them all, though. Yeah. I think we got them. By the way, the, the struggle bus is real. The struggle bus is real. <laughs> that could be a name for another sled. So we got we got done about dark yesterday, and today we spent the whole day trying to get good hits out of the sled, having it fail, but at least we determined that it was fuel. Actually, we figured out it was fuel last night. Yep. We thought we had it fixed. It was doing it again. Today, it's flooding. So yesterday, it was starving for fuel. Today, it's flooding. You saw us find the dirt. You saw Dennis do the gas tank dance with that uh, seat and tank combo. Um, I don't know. We're done. You saw it hook up. Well, it can't hook up today. Right now, it's 40 degrees, and it's been raining all day, and it's really more slush than snow. So yeah. I've had this issue for the last multiple rides. And every time I look at the fuel filter, it's clean. One of those dollar fuel oh, yeah. filters. Swap Don't trust meat. the dollar fuel filters. Swap meat fuel filters. It was letting all the dirt right through. So we put in a Wix 33001 in that thing. Genuine name brand. It cost nine bucks. Oh, no. That's so much worse than breaking down on the trail. Yeah, and, and having to take half the sled apart again yeah and again and, and we, again and we fully confirmed that that original 
uh, fuel filter was 100. percent It was it wasn't filtering. It wasn't filtering. It no. was. I don't know if the element was broke off or had a tear or what, but it was it was definitely. And I had dirt three more by. of those same type. Yep. They're now in the garbage. Yep. Absolutely. And we had two carbs with what secondary jets that were. Oh yeah, we had two uh, two pilot jets pilot plugged jets up when we went through the plugged. carbs from yeah. all the dirt. We had tons of dirt in the needles and seats. That's why uh, it was flooding today. So. Uh, I don't know. In the now end, it's good. Yeah, now it runs good again, and we've got a good quality filter in there. We've totally cleaned and purged the entire fuel system, and uh, I don't know. Thanks to the patrons. Thanks for uh, thanks to you guys for your support of the channel. You guys are the best. Thanks to everybody else that supported us either through some PayPal donations or uh, sending us parts. Yep, we're having some pizza right now. Celebratory pizza. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Is that lunch or dinner? Because I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what this point. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna see a triple wars, and uh, the gremlin will be there. Yeah. Take care. See you on the trails.